This video will show you how you can create a distribution list for a group of teachers in your school. So for example, you may wish to put together all the assistant principals in the school or you may wish to put together um, your colleagues in a department. So for this example, I'm going to put together a group of business studies teachers and I'm going to save them. So the first thing we do is we actually open up our main email and there's a small black triangle which is located to the right hand side of the word new and you select that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new distribution list. So you select that there. Okay, so the list name, I'm going to call this um, business teachers in DCC. And now I come down to the next line. And rather than typing in teachers' names, I click on the members icon here. This opens up the Active Directory where I can search for the, each of the teachers in the list. So I'm going to start with the first teacher. There she's there. So just double click on her and select members. And she pops down there. Next teacher. Make sure he's clicked there into members. And I'm just going to put in a third teacher. So it's this teacher I want to select it there in gold. Select members and so on. So at this stage I have three teachers in. I simply select OK. Now at this stage you have three teachers' names listed up here, but it's important that you select this button here, Add to Lists. And the names of the teachers will drop from ab above this line to below it. So Add to List and you can see the names have gone down there. OK, so I simply save and close that list. So now I have created that distribution list and now I, um, at some stage in the future you may wish to send them all an email. This dis distribution list save you typing in their names each time. To locate your distribution list you come down here to where it says the word contacts and you select that. You can then find all the distribution lists that you've created. In this case I just created the Business Teachers DCC. So by left clicking it once lights it up gold and I have the three names here um, listed. I can now simply click on this icon which looks like an envelope and it will open up the new message box and you can see now I could type away my message as I normally do and I don't have to pick each person's name and that would go to the three teachers here in that list. So I'm going to close that down because I don't need to send them an email other things you may need to do is obviously um, you may need to add names to this list or you may need to remove names. So you do that using the edit icon. So you select edit. Okay, so in this case I'm going to remove Marcella Colleen from the list. So I simply light her name up in orange and select remove from the list. And her name is gone. And I have a new member to add so I simply click on members and I'm going to add in my new member she's there click her there select members select OK and again don't forget to add their name to list and save and close ok so you can see now my list has changed Marcella has gone and Bethann is in um, so that's to send them a message that's to edit it and this icon here is to send them a meeting request very similar to sending an email just select the little icon there okay so what you're doing is um, sending a meeting request Now the words required optional and resources refer to people so in this stage I'm requiring that the business teachers attend if you would like anyone else to attend you could simply click on the word optional and the Active Directory opens up and you can search for them. So I'll close that down. I don't want anyone else to come. The subject is um, subject meeting. Where are you going to have it? Okay, and when are you are going to have it? You're going to have it tomorrow from 3.30 until 4. If you leave that clicked, it'll send you a reminder. I don't want to send myself a reminder and if you leave this selected here when you send that email out to people they will um, must reply to it they will receive an email 
asking them to come to a meeting and they will accept or decline. So all you would do then is simply click send and that message would go. Um, I won't do that at the moment um, because obviously I don't want to um, send a meeting request to those staff. So I'm just going to X that down. Select OK. And it brings me back to here. So to go back to your normal mail section, you just select mail. So again, to go in and create a distribution list is the small black triangle there, which is where you create your distribution list. At any time, you can always send a meeting request to anyone by selecting this icon here. Okay, if you click it up there, the same box opens up. And if you required um, somebody to attend a meeting, you would just select required there and open up the Active Directory and search for them as normal. Okay, so I'll cancel that down. And that's basically how to create a distribution list for staff within County Meath VEC.